Well, I've got myself a 1940s Electrolux canister. And the reason I brought the old triple, uh, triple X out, or Model 30 out, is I wanted to explain what its working vacuum was, and, you know, what a 1940s vacuum got in terms of power, which obviously isn't going to be as much as any of these, right? See that that got just about 20 on that gauge, and that is one old Electrolux. So let's see what this Hoover gets, and this is a this is simply just a Hoover. There's nothing special about it, other than it's a plug-in upright vacuum, and they've sold millions of these Hoovers. Millions upon millions of these Hoovers. It's a very, very common vacuum at one time. So let's see what it gets in terms of working one vacuum as an example. That's what the Hoover got in terms of power. Let's test this high-end SIBO and see what it gets. Now before I test the SIBO, I want to do a full disclosure that the bag is not empty. The bag has plenty of debris in it. Um, so we'll be testing it as is with the bag like that. Uh, and the Hoover was tested the same way. It's because bags generally don't lose suction anymore. That hasn't been a thing for quite some time. So let's turn this on max. So we can see the SIBO got about 41, 42 on there. Now the last thing we're going to test is we're going to test the Dyson V11 replacement for your upright vacuum as advertised. And the bin's really only about half full. Remember they claim they don't lose suction. The filter is absolutely clean. And we're going to test it two ways. We're going to test it on boost mode and then we're going to test it on auto because it doesn't seem to work on boost mode on my carpet. Uh... Well, I've come... And if you want to get that fantastic quoted battery life of an hour, which I haven't been able to achieve yet, that's, uh, that's what you're going to have to do. So we're going to turn this on, it's on boost. So that's the power on boost. Now we're going to switch it to auto. Well, so I think the claim that the V11 is as powerful as a plugged in vacuum. Uh, Simply, I don't think that's a claim that could be held up in court. I think if we do these tests over and over and over again, and I'm doing this a mile above sea level, so all these are making less power, of course. Um, I think if you take a look, uh, you know, around, you'll find you will find that these are going to be about 20% more at sea level. 
all of these. Um, but really, power-wise, motor-wise, this old Electrolux over here seemed to do just a tad bit better than the Dyson was on Boost. And then when you put it on Auto, which is the only way I can get it to push on my carpet, uh, you know, we're getting next to nothing. So I think you would be doing yourself a great disservice if this was your only vacuum and you had wall-to-wall -wall carpet. Now if this was your only vacuum and you had a 500 square feet, 100 square meters, something like that, of an apartment with one area rug, yes, you could get by with this. Would I recommend this for a house as their only vacuum? Absolutely not. And I think anybody who says that um, and has used any other vacuum and I've picked three very common vacuums that can be found, even though this Electrolux is quite old, you can find it just about anywhere. You can go on eBay right now and find one. Um, you know, so I think, I think that really disproves the, the advertising right now on the V11, that this can replace your upright vacuum or your plugged-in vacuum. I don't think that that's true. Now, I, I purposely didn't test any of the real super duper vacuums. If I was to do the same test and bring up a Mila or a Central Vac, then yeah, that would be unfair. But instead, I brought out three very average vacuums that have all had millions of each sold. Uh, now, don't don't quote me on the exact number. I, the Electrolux sales numbers <laughs> weren't really well kept back then, but it was a very popular machine. So, thanks for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up, comment below, uh, and definitely hit that subscribe button to uh, performance reviews.